plug in and get down. Alex Hoffmann is an internet journalist based in Berlin, where he reports on the thriving startup scene there. Today, he's trying out Alpeo, a music streaming service for smartphones and tablets. His first impression of the features it offers? This app certainly has a high caliber design with lots of color, which is always popular. On the user side, it's a bit cluttered because I'm looking at a variety of genres and eras. The app's job is to track down the listener's musical preferences and also be an alternative to conventional in-car radios. You just need to connect your smartphone to the car's sound system. In a Mercedes-Benz or BMW, you can operate the app directly via the car's infotainment setup. Alpeo promises to deliver only music that the listener likes. The premium service costs four euros 95 a month. The app can also be used free of charge, albeit then with advertisements in between. Alex can choose from over 150 virtual genre stations. First, select your main category of music, world music, for example, then your subgenre, in this case, Cuban music. The operability of the smartphone or in-car system is pretty similar. Personally, I find the in-car system slightly better. It has a clearer layout, and you don't get lost in sub-menus as you do on the smartphone. Alex can then give his rating for the track in question. Over time, the app generates an increasingly accurate profile of his musical taste. The information is stored remotely here, at Alpeo headquarters. They are proud to see their smartphone software now being used with high-class in-car infotainment systems. Success came faster than its creators imagined. We started the company in 2008, and we realized very early on that cars were a possible platform for us. We said that streaming music and the Internet would be available in cars soon, but we thought it wouldn't happen until 2014 or 2015. The car industry traditionally has very long product cycles. There are more than 800,000 songs on the Alpeo server. Many come from these CDs. The songs are still put on the server by hand. The computer is not yet capable of determining which songs are rock classics. Alpeo also saves each song in different data sizes, depending on how quick a user's internet connection is. And that is easier to do with CDs. The staff here come from 12 different countries. Alpeo was recently bought by Japanese electronic giant Panasonic. The company wants to increase its presence as a contractor to the car industry. It was a very good coincidence because we had specialized so heavily on the car industry. You really need to be present long term because the product cycles are so long and the manufacturers want to be sure that their contractors will be around in five, six or seven years. Alpeo has 1.5 million users in 42 countries around the world. Alex Hoffmann used the app a lot while he was driving. But was it a distraction? It's a bit of a distraction when you're driving. But I don't think it's dangerous. It depends on how far you go into the menus. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem when cars drive themselves in the future.